So hi, I'm Maggie Hoff. I'm an industrial hygienist and I work at NICAM. Respirators do come in different shapes and sizes. We're going to be looking at these. The important thing to know how to wear it safely is to observe on that respirator itself. You'll see there how to correctly put it on and off, how to do the seal check. You want to take a look and make sure that it's all intact, that the elastic straps are in good condition. And generally these are disposable. In some conditions we have to wear them a few times. When you have your mirror, you can watch how you're doing it. Gel your hands and put your gloves on before you do this, um, depending on if it's been reused or not especially. You put the straps underneath your hand like this, okay? And in the case of this model, you have to open it up so that you have the, the face that's able to go inside of it. In your model, and in all cases, that nose piece is at the top of your hand, okay? You fit it over your face onto your nose and you want the bottom part to go over your chin enough and this part over your nose okay and then you take the bottom strap and you pull this over your head to the nape of your neck below your hairline okay and you want to try to make sure that the straps are straightened and they're not twisted mainly because it's uncomfortable after a while if they're not on you straight and then you take the top one and you pull this slowly over the top of your head to the crown of your head, okay? So I wanna make sure that this is positioned properly over my nose, that this is under my chin, and then the next step is fitting it to, the, to your nose. And what's important here, this is one of the most important areas of leakage that we find in our fit testing. You wanna take two hands or two fingers and you wanna press it down so that it fits to the shape of your nose, okay? Mm -hmm. And you don't wanna pinch it like this because you can make a hole in there. And this, this allows the, the whole respirator to seal to your face nicely because remember this thing is not going to protect you if it doesn't seal your face properly and that's why for uh, you don't want any hair underneath that place where the seal is and you don't want to be you know for for gentlemen they need to be completely clean shaven or it won't give them the protection that they need one little hair under here can can keep you from having that perfect seal the next thing you want to do is a seal is a check so you're going to do a a, a, a fit check, which is putting your hands over the surface without disturbing the positioning on your face, and you're going to take a sharp breath in like this, and you're going to see, does it collapse towards your face a little bit? Can you feel it pulling in? Remember, it's a negative pressure we're going for here. And then the same thing blowing out, and I can feel it kind of swelling out at the same time. Check any time you put on a respirator, you want to check that you've got a good seal by doing that fit check. If it doesn't have a good seal, then you take it off the same way we took it on. You try to reposition it on your nose. You want to avoid touching your face all the time. When you take off your mask, you're thinking that there's something on the surface of that mask. You don't want to breathe them in when you take off your respirator. You lean forward. You take the bottom strap off carefully first, slowly and carefully, because you don't want to make any snapping action. Try not to touch your mask. And then you take the top strap off very slowly Again, the same way, you're leaning forward so you're not going to be knocking anything into your face and there you've removed it in a way that you can dispose of it. And you can put a face shield over your mask so that though any kind of clear you know, droplets would be blocked by the face shield and then you could keep that mask underneath.